March 26, 2023, 11.56. It's just before midnight. Oh, actually, I'm wrong. It's 11.58. It's just literally just for midnight. If I turn this way to the north and look straight up, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. Big Dipper. Huh. Well, the Big Dipper is not right. It's horizontal. The handle is to the east, the ladle is to the west. Let me take a look at this. Wind's actually died down. Clear skies. Supposed to be like in the high 30s tonight. Right now I can see my breath, so yeah. There's a slight breeze. It hits once in a while, but literally there's almost no wind. Moon's a little bit higher than it was yesterday. It's always losing the race. But it is setting way north compared to where the sun's setting. Usually it follows the sun's path. And usually the moon rises when the sun sets. That's how I remember it as a kid. Until about just before 2008 through 2010 is when all this just hit the fan. Quick readjust. It's just funny how people think this is normal, yet where it's at, the sun set to the left of it, way to the left. <laughs> people don't get that. Just some critical thinking to stop and think. So. Where this light is, right here in the center of the screen, and there's a red light flashing, that's where the sun just set. So why is the moon look like the sun would set over here where that empty spot is? That's where the sunlight would be beaming upwards from around our earth and hitting that. When in reality, right here is where the sun set. I just recorded it earlier. But yet the moon is way over here, even more north, almost where, it's, where the sun is during almost the peak of summer. It's just a few degrees shorter than that. Hmm. Anyone? Anyone? That's not a troll? Yeah. Food for thought. Peace out. This thing just will not focus on this poor thing.